Hey guys, it's Christy here for Simon Says Stamp. Today I'm here to uh, show you guys how I made this cute little pop-up lemonade stand for the Simon Says Stamp blog. Uh, let me grab a piece of paper here and maybe you can see it better. Um, it's just a little pop-up lemonade stand that I made and uh, you can fold it down into a, an envelope if you wanted to mail it, but it's um, featuring a whole bunch of lawn fawn stamps and I think it's just super cute. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So um, to begin, I'm going to be using a whole bunch of lawn fawn stamps, like I said. Um, the ones that I used are Make Lemonade, Home Sweet Home, Bannerific, Blue Skies, Sophie's Sentiments, and Say Cheese 2. But if you don't have all these Lawn Fawn stamp sets, you could achieve a very similar look with either these two or these two stamp sets. I added a lot of little uh, details like the banner and the little water splash marks and the numbers, but um, those are things that you could either leave off or hand draw if you don't have as many Lawn Fawn stamp sets to work with. Um, so let's see what else. I have a piece of craft cardstock that is um, cut down to an 8 by 4 inch piece of paper and then folded in half to make a 4 by 4 square card. And I have run that through my Tim Holtz Alterations wood grain embossing folder just to give it that um, wood grain effect for the lemonade stand. I also used some lawn trimmings in the lime color and some papers from the Simple Stories I Heart Summer paper pad. So to begin, we're going to cut out the little stand. I'm going to take um, a T-square ruler and measure up one, third, uh, one and three fourths inches from the bottom. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mark that. And then I'm gonna make a couple of lines near the places that I'll be cutting just to give me a guide for where to go from. I can erase those later. And then I'm going to take my Fiskars paper trimmer and I'm going to measure out 7 eighths of an inch on each side. And bring that right down to those lines that I made. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, measure out 7 eighths of an inch. Go right down to those lines that I made. So I end up with something like this. And then I'm going to take my Martha Stewart mini scoreboard and I'm going to go ahead and score the bottom of that line. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and trim off the end. And then I'm going to trim this piece down to one and seven eighths. So I'm going to take that and just cut that little piece off. All right. And then what we're left with is this little stand. Okay. So it's already starting to take shape. I've already gone ahead and uh, pre-cut and colored all my little pieces just to save time for us today. And I'm going to make a little quilt like this, um, just a little blanket to throw over the top. This is a 3x3 three three square, by the way. So I'm going to score this piece at 1 and 1 eighth on both sides. Okay, and then I'm just going to score the ends to meet right there, which looks like at the one inch mark. Oh, 
a lot of this for me was just trial and error. I had this idea in my head of what I wanted to create, but um, I really didn't know how I was going to make it. So um, I just kept trying. I, you know, used a, just a plain white cardstock template and, um, you know, started measuring things out and trying it and building it and seeing what would work. So um, anyway, that's what we're going to end up with right there. And that should fit. Let's see. That should fit right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and adhere the bottom and the front flap to the card, or well, the lemonade stand. <laughs> okay, and just fold that in there to get that adjusted and press that down. And the reason we're not adhering the back one is because when it's like this, you could still fold this up and mail it inside a standard size envelope just like that. Even with the pieces, the pieces will fly flat once they're put in there. So you could mail this to someone. You could write a little sentiment on the inside right there. But we are going to fold that back up and continue. So the next thing we're going to need to do is add the little details. So we want to put our pitcher of lemonade, our lemon, and our cup on the lemonade stand. So I have those already cut and ready to go. And I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife. And we're just going to kind of place these and make sure, especially if you do want to mail this, that you are going to be able to fold this up without it like bumping into the sides here. So the main one is the lemony pitcher because it's the largest. So we're just going to get an idea of placement and then we're going to fold this down and go ahead and cut some lines here. So let's see. Do that one for our pitcher. We'll do another one here for our cup. And then one slightly in front to the middle for our lemon. Okay. Alright. And then we're just going to go ahead and fit those through. Pull them under. Okay, very quick and simple. And that's how that's looking. And we're going to flip it over and glue these down to the bottom. I'm just going to take a little bit of Tombow Mono just so that they don't come up. Okay, just hold those in place for just a minute. Okay, and then we'll fold this back into place, and we're just going to fold these back up. Okay, so that's how it's looking now. Then we're going to take a little banner that I've cut and I've stamped with 25 cents, and we're just going to hang that from the top. Just kind of get an idea of placement and then we'll go ahead and adhere that down with some more Tombow Mono Multi. Okay. Kind of play with it and get the height that you're looking for that you think looks good to you. 
You could also use some glue dots if you didn't want to have to wait for the Tombow Mono to dry. And it usually only takes a few minutes there. Okay. Once that's on, I can trim off the excess there. Okay. And then I've tied two little bows that I'm going to adhere right over the ends of the banner. And all that's left to do is to take my little lemonade banner and some dimensional adhesive okay and then we're just going to take that and pop that on the front and there you go that's a cute little lemonade stand. Very quick and easy. Um, didn't take us too long at all. And it's super eye-catching and adorable. So thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.